Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna show you week two of our freezer pantry situation where we're trying to just basically do a low spend month and eat a lot out of our freezer and pantry and try to buy less. Just trying to save some money and clean out a freezer a little bit. I think we're doing a little better than last week. My grocery budget is $1,300 a month. Last week I think I spent 320 or 340, I can't remember. I'll have to look back. So I'm gonna show you what I bought this week and what my totals were, but first check out the meal prepping, a little bit of meal prepping that I did last week that made a world of difference. We are doing all the food things today in the kitchen. Made some, a huge, this thing is totally full, of potatoes. We'll do mashed potatoes for dinner tonight, uh, baked potatoes for lunch one day, baked potato bar. I made some salads for myself and meal prepping these. Got the idea from my friends down in Florida of Family Bee. They do a lot of good food things, so I'll link their channel down below. They're good friends of ours that we met in person. <laughs> through our channel and have stayed in contact. We have a lot in common. They're real fun. But, and then she told me, put a paper towel on top of it. So I got these meal prep containers because I just want an easy button for lunch for myself so that I make sure and eat lunch. That has been an issue for me lately. And then I just eat, end up eating junk later, putting junk in my mouth. So I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm gonna cut up a little bit of cheese squares and then the day I eat it, I'll maybe throw in a little bacon bits or hard boiled eggs for protein or maybe some meat we have left over or something like that. Um, but this will help a lot. I've washed and chopped, so I use those romaine hearts. I got this um, salad spinner off of Amazon. I had seen one of my aunts years ago. Uh, we were visiting her out in LA and she had one and I thought, oh, I wonder why she needs that thing. I don't need something like that. <laughs> and then when I had room in my new kitchen with the cupboards, uh, extra covered space, I decided to get one and I love it, it's awesome. So I clean a bunch of romaine lettuce at once, chop it up and then spin it out and it's so much better. The lettuce, I've been eating soggy lettuce for years and years. So I got these off of Amazon and the salad spinner, I'll link those. Belle's cutting up watermelon, we just had hard boiled eggs finished here that Luca's peeling for me and we're not doing a lot of meal prep but it helps to have this afternoon. And I did two loaves of bread which makes four loaves actually and Belle made some dinner. She's making banging ranch chicken. It's a trim healthy mama recipe. I'll try to find it online and link it. It's really good. It's like a ranch seasoning yogurt mayonnaise. That's what it's coated in I guess. Yeah, <laughs> we it's bake basically it. just like an easier homemade ranch. It's ranch. <laughs> Yogurt, like parsley, pepper, salt, and like all that. Yeah. Garlic, onion. Powder. Then we bake it. It's really good, but I always bake it more than it says to bake it because it helps if it's a little crispy. I've done it not enough before and I didn't like it. So he's uh, peeling the eggs, which will help for our week as well. So anyway, uh, oh, we're also chopping watermelon and we're gonna do mashed potatoes and an, a salad as well tonight. So it really helps to get all the food things done here at once makes our week more successful. The salad prepping was so much better than I even thought. There were several times where I was hungry, it just had very little time, and I was able to go to those salads. Man, I loved it, I'm definitely doing that again. That was a key for me because I like salads a lot and I often don't wanna take the time to make them. <laughs> Let me show you what I got this week at the store. Belle and I went into Sam's Club quick. I'm gonna make a stuffed pepper casserole, so I got those for that. And more tomatoes, one day we'll have, um, I've been eating a lot of tomatoes, but one day, the whole family will have mozzarella cheese. I have some left on tomato slices with balsamic vinegar as a side dish. Before I forget to tell you, yesterday was the 4th of July. We had unexpected drop by company, so we ran out to the store and got some things. I'm gonna include, include that in the grocery budget. I'll just tell you, we got a bunch of junk food. <laughs> Solo was already grilling steaks, so we grabbed four bags of chips, a thing of ranch fried pickle dip at Sam's Club. It was good. It tasted like ranch and pickles. <laughs> This pregnant lady was real happy with it. I think I'm wearing the same clothes as I wore my last grocery haul. It's been about a week, so <laughs> that makes sense. Um, we also got a huge box of popsicles. We got several things of soda, and at Sam's Club it's always big. We got ice, a bag of ice, and we got some cream cheese because Belle was making a dessert she needed cream cheese for. Oh, and a thing of potato salad. They had like a Southwest style potato salad. I only had a few bites of it. It was actually really good. It had a little kick to it. I liked it a lot. We got all that junk food. I I think it was about $70. We have a lot of stuff left over from that. 
that we are taking on an RV trip with us this week. And so as you see this, keep that in mind. And <laughs> so we're adding that $70. I picked up these small peppers because I thought I could dip them in the ranch fried pickle dip. <laughs> so I'm not eating the chips or tempted to eat the leftover chips. This mozzarella cheese I wanted for the casserole that I'm making. And um, plus I think we could use that for pizzas. So it would be good. And I got picked up this, I needed salsa, and this looked really good. It looks more like pico de gallo, fresh, without the work. So we'll see, hopefully it lives up to my expectations. Last week we ate the two bags of nectarines in just a couple days. So I got more of that for the kids, although we have a lot of other fruit left over, so that's good too. It's just, this only lasts for a short season, so I wanted to pick that up. Chicken thighs will be on the grill one evening this week. We needed more, cheese, sliced cheese, and ham for just sandwiches, lunch stuff. This was one thing that was not on my list that I picked up. Bella and I thought this would be a good one um, for a quick, easy lunch with noodles for the kids, so like mac and cheese. Uh, when we're doing our little RV trip, I love these things. They help me when everybody else is eating junk food to not eat their junk food. So I got some of those and two things of tortillas. We got these chocolate chips. If they're not baking with chocolate chips, once in a while we like to put a little, sprinkle a little bit on their homemade granola. It makes them real happy about that granola. So thought we could take that on our little trip. Got some sour cream again, just two things of milk. We had some left from last week week and we got two things of water bottles that we want to keep in the bottom of our RV when we travel because the first camp we stayed at the first time we camped that water uh, was tasted like sulfur <laughs> And so made the mistake of trying to drink that and now we think we'll always just carry a backup when we travel. That total at Sam's Club for all of that stuff was $135 and then we went over to Walmart quick, got two bundles of cilantro, four zucchini, and then we picked up some of these Halo Top ice creams. The kids have a lot of popsicles left over that they'll be eating, but the, these are Belle and I picked out. We saw some new flavors we wanted to try and we got some that Solo likes too, like caramel, sea salt caramel, birthday cake. These are just lower carb ice cream. We tried this keto series, the brownie a la mode and the white chocolatey macadamia. Peanut butter cup we know we like and then we tried one of these Rebel, which were a little more expensive. We didn't like the cookie dough in Halo Top. We haven't actually bought these for probably a year or more, I don't know. But we wanted to try it in this brand to see, so she kind of helped me pick those out. My total here was 23 bucks. And so to adding to the 135 is 158, I think, if I'm doing my math right. We always get a lot of encouraging comments about how healthy we eat as a large family. And I always appreciate those. However, I know there's a lot of people that eat a lot healthier than we do. We are no experts in that, but we're tr we try and I always appreciate encouraging nice comments like that. Then we always have a steady stream of just a few commenters all the time that are concerned that our kids do not get enough junk food. And so I thought I'd share my theory on that real quick. Obviously you can see yesterday I told you we bought plenty of junk food, um, but we don't buy it regularly except for little things here and there. My theory and Solo's too is that our world, where we live anyway, I don't know where you live, but where we live, our world is full of junk food. There is so much opportunity to get junk food whenever we're not eating at home. Often it is not healthy food that we're eating. And so if we can mostly have healthy food at home and healthy choices at home, it helps our main diet to be healthy, keeps us healthier, keeps us happier, keeps us wanting to move around and do all those things because we're not eating just a lot of junk food. So. When we have junk food in the house, all of us tend to go to the junk food over the healthy food. So not having it in the house really just makes a world of difference. Our kids are not deprived and they get plenty of junk food. We bought popsicles yesterday that they have eaten a lot of. We bought soda, we bought chips, we bought all that kind of stuff. And we made a big cake. They get plenty of junk food. Um, and once they're teenagers and they can drive on their own, I remember I was a teenager once myself, and we've got some of them around here, uh, they just go buy their own junk food. So I like to make the home choices to be just healthy, you know, stuff that makes us feel good. So that's my theory on that. If you feel insecure about the groceries you buy when you're watching mine, please don't. I do not care at all that you, if you, if you buy mostly junk food for your kids to snack on, doesn't bother me at all. In fact, there's some days with this pregnant belly, I wanna move into your house. <laughs> 
Sounds real good to me. <laughs> the good thing is that we each get the freedom to pick what we wanna eat in our own homes, right? Today, uh, I told you we're preparing to go on an RV trip and I'm a little nervous about the food part. We have not been campers. We did one big camping trip when we had three little babies and I was pregnant, I think, with our fourth and we have not done, or something like, maybe I had two little ones and pregnant with the third. But we haven't done one since and <laughs> we're no experts. So the food part, I don't know how it'll go, but I think trial and error is the best way to go about it. So. I have written out a menu plan for a couple of days. We're going to try to stay out there, although the boys and Solo are working, so they'll travel back and forth. We're not far from our house. I want to have some meals that are easy, but also I want to just try cooking in the RV and see how it goes. So I'm going to prep a little bit to take with us, and I'll make that deconstructed stuffed pepper recipe. It's a new one that I've never made before with brown rice and I'll make that today. So I'll just show you a little bit of that if you're in case you're interested and in what I'm preparing for food for three day trip in the RV with 13 people because we're counting Joe too. He's coming out there too. The rest of the week I re didn't really plan but we're going to make sure we eat out of our freezer and our pantry for those. So we'll be grilling and doing potatoes which I still have or making beans and I don't know. We don't have any chicken left besides what I bought. So it'll be beef or vegetarian, but we're just going to make do with what we have, make it work, and I think we can wing it for the rest of the days for this week. I'll show you my freezer real quick too. I don't think it's changed any except that we added ice and popsicles. Maybe I won't show you the freezer. We ate a little bit of frozen vegetables, one bag out of there. So yeah, that hasn't changed much. Just getting started my, with my meal prep and I had to show you guys this. Does that happen in your house <laughs> or just me? So I made some quick notes. We're gonna have stuffed peppers one night. I'm sure you can't read this, which I need to prep. Well, for breakfast, we'll take eggs, zucchini, and granola. I gotta make the granola. We'll have sandwiches or roll-ups with tortillas and pre-prepped salads again and some carrots and ranch and mac and cheese for lunches. The second dinner would be grilled chicken with tomatoes and mozzarella and baked potatoes that I'm gonna prep ahead right now. And then we'll take, we'll have tacos one night. Wow, my kids are loud. With meat, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, and sour cream. Just wrote my notes and I'm gonna pack desserts, treats, fruit, and leftovers in there as well. So for this casserole, I am following a recipe I found online today that just looked good. And I'll link it down below. Hopefully she doesn't mind that I'm cooking it, but I'm going to link her recipes. It calls for one pound of ground beef, half an onion, and one and a half bell peppers or of any color. So I am doing, I'm tripling it, three pounds of ground beef. This is a whole onion. I think my peppers and onions are like jumbo size, but they're playing a game over here. <laughs> but um, we're making a diamond sticker art. Even these are jumbo size, but I'm still gonna follow what she said because I'd rather have more veggies than less. So I'm gonna cut all of this up, just half of this and all of that. Three pounds of ground beef just cooked up, steamed up my camera. <laughs> got most of this chopped, I gotta finish this yellow half. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna throw it in there and let it soften up a little with the meat. I found this recipe searching like easy RV <laughs> food. I'm desperate guys, give me your recipes. Favorite things you do while camping or RVing. We added three cans of tomato sauce, three cans of diced tomatoes, because we're tripling it, remember? Luca's helping me here. And then I minced a whole head, a large head actually, of garlic. I think it was supposed to be one teaspoon. Uh, I don't remember. It was supposed to be one tablespoon, so I don't know. We did a whole head. And then one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. It also calls for half a tablespoon of seasoned salt, which I don't have. Yeah, so that would be one and a half tablespoons. So we'll just taste it at the end and see if we need to add more salt. He's throwing in two teaspoons of pepper, black pepper. It calls for one teaspoon and we're tripling it, but I'm just cutting back on the pepper. And then two teaspoons of chili powder. Same thing, called for one teaspoon. So we're cutting a little bit back on the chili powder. And then we're gonna add it's two cups of rice per recipe, so we're gonna add six cups of rice. I've got some rice cooking in my pressure cooker here, brown rice. So then we'll just bake it together with cheese, I think. Yeah, it'll be good. Simmering it a little here before um, adding the rice and cheese. We're adding <laughs> 
One cup of cheese per recipe, so three cups of cheese. Whoa, make sure they're full cups there, man. I like cheese. And then that's half of the cheese, so the rest we'll put it on it when we're putting it in casserole dishes. And then we're gonna add two cups of brown rice per recipe. Stir that in, put it in casserole dishes. Put the leftover cheese, the other three cups of cheese on top of the dishes. Oh, am I making sense anymore? Actually, it says spray the pan, put it in there, and then cook it at 350 for 30 minutes, then add that last cup of cheese to each casserole, and do five more minutes. So the cheese, I guess, goes at the very end. There's one thing my sister-in-law told me to do, and that is her advice to me as a new RVer, they have a trailer, was to get some of these throwaway ones, which, um, for cooking in the oven, because she said you'll spend your life, oh, now I'm competing, my pressure cooker. She said you'll spend your life washing dishes in that RV in a small sink, and it's so much easier to throw it away. And I said yes and amen. So I actually had some of those in my garage. So we're gonna put them in those, bake them. I think bake them there if we get out of here in time. If not, I'll bake them here and take them with us. I don't really know what's happening. But I did think that was a really great idea. So I love learning from smart people who have done it before me. <laughs> this cheese in here while we're waiting for the rice. They are looking good. Didn't have cheese for those two, but these, I've already put lids on some of them. I put a piece of paper towel on top. They stayed so fresh last week. I did five of them last week. This week I'm doing 10. Solo and Joe will eat some too. Actually, they're for lunches, so any of my kids that want to eat some are welcome to have them. The little ones share with me a lot, but my bigger kids don't necessarily pick salad. Okay, I made a bunch of ranch dressing too, and a couple jars of it actually. And I have hit my limit. The baked potatoes are almost done in the pressure cooker. We have extra rice to eat with the tacos, make that meat go farther. Ooh, I gotta get that meat out. And then I think we're ready for a few days in the camper. I did not get to making granola, which I'm either gonna take oatmeal, I haven't decided yet. I already have eggs, but I just wanted a second option. Or we might just buy cereal, cold cereal, to have another option. The kids love that anyway, so yeah, may do that. My back can only handle so much. And the time is going, I wanna pack a few clothes in there. Ah, but it, I think it will help to have some food prepped so it's not a lot of work when we're camping. I've heard that's the biggest key, is to do as much beforehand as you can so that it's easy and you can relax some, some. We know how that'll go, but <laughs> any bit more of relaxing I can do will be great. So that is our story. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will put my grocery budget, grocery spending total here. We'll see how much I can save this month. Uh, not as much as I hoped, I'm sure, but it's always good to have a month where you just kinda eat what's around. <laughs> not shop as much. By the way, this is the finished product of the casseroles, the de-stuffed peppers. I think they look and smell great. I took a taste before I baked it and it tasted awesome. I wouldn't call it the fast and easy dinner it was advertised to be, but that is only because I tripled it. So it takes a long time to chop all that stuff. If you're doing one recipe, I'm sure it is fast and easy and yummy and I love when it's all in one pot, one pot wonder, or in this case, three. <laughs> Decided to cook it here because I had some time and we're loading up now, so we'll just take them along with us. <laughs>